open-minded ka ba? I know you told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way and Guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray As you fade away, yeah. Yeah, I'm about to fade away Cause every time I wake up I feel like it's Monday Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain All of a sudden I don't look at anything the same way Gotta build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace I never really asked to be brought into this place You wanna love me? Well then baby, have a taste All the highs and the lows no, you'll never be the same. I don't really want to hurt you, but I can't control the pain. Annyeong everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you just met, my name is Ju. If you like cars like me, please do smash that subscribe button and like this video for more. If you like what you're watching, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. And many of you are not subscribed to the channel, please do consider subscribing. Thank you so much. Now, if you want to purchase this one, please do contact the person here in the description section below and on the video. Huge shout out to Boss Adel for lending us his personal car for the review in this channel. Today we have the all new 2022 Toyota Corolla Cross 1.8 liter V HEV GRS. Yes, it seems that Toyota Philippines is giving all its lineup GR treatment and this one received it as well. Now, aside from the aesthetics, it did receive a few, well, when I say a few, just a single upgrade that you see in the performance side. Let's dive in and check it out. As we age, yes, more and more we are looking at the reality. The reality is that we are no longer able to sustain with fossil fuel, which is gasoline and diesel. And that is why we are turning to electricity. And this one is something that will bring us to there. Yes, we cannot just transition all of a sudden. That's why we do have the hybrid models. And this is a hybrid system that is used in the Prius, in the Corolla Altis, and also this one, and more models that will come this year. So let's see what are the changes from the 1.8 liter V hybrid and this GRS. The price of the hybrid model that wasn't the GRS has a price tag of about 1,665,000 pesos SRP. And this one costs 1,774,000 pesos without the per variant. Is it worth your money to get this GR spec rather than the V hybrid non-GRS variant? Please stick around and watch the video to find out. The front has changed. The bumper is a GR bumper and we do have this silver metallic cladding. And we just wish that this area is also active, air curtains. But we do have nice LED light right here. The front grille is in gloss metallic. And I don't know, not everyone would notice, but this one is now in black. It's not in blue, it is in black. And this is the radar type which has the Toyota safety sense. And the headlight, it no longer has the blue accent that signifies hybrid model. So this one looks more sporty. It does have more stealth vibe to it. So let's check out the side for more upgrades. Now we are here on the side. The most obvious change or improvement is the rim design. Although it's still 18 inch, Similar with the lower variant than this, but it just looks better. It just looks like a shredder that is about to shred everything on the road while saving fuel and your money. This braking system ventilated. Now what lies under is a MacPherson strut. But this MacPherson strut is not just your ordinary, but it is a GR specific MacPherson. So unless we drive it, we wouldn't know, so I hope Boss will let us drive this today. 
or next time. This cladding actually make good contrast with this pearl white body color. And of course, the hybrid badge is sweet all the time. You see, Toyota Philippines quietly launched this one because I never knew the existence of a GR variant of a Corolla Cross. And I'm really lucky to find this one, the actual unit, because this is spanking rare. So don't forget to place your reservation right now. Contact the person here in the video, place your reservation fee, so you can get your hands on this nice, beautiful hybrid GRS Toyota variant. Since we're here in the side, well, usually we would have spoken about the ground clearance when we were in front. Now, if we were to compare this, Corolla Cross with a Corolla Altis. The Corolla Altis has about 140 millimeters of ground clearance, while the Cross model comes with a 1.61 millimeters of ground clearance. So if you want a higher ride, you want to be more sporty, you may go for this. That costs about, uh, about 400,000 more than the hybrid GRS model of the Altis. Off the bat, the differences here on the side, very few. This black roof, so it makes the roof like a floating design. And this chrome accent here, this cladding right here in silver metallic. Because we already discussed the new design of the rim. The rear, however, still comes with a torsion beam. It is quite easy to enter your Toyota vehicles when you have your smart keyless entry. So just touch it and it will open. And this unit right here has automatic side mirror fold and unfold. So as you see, then you want to open it. That's how you do it. It does come with full power with LED repeater and a blind spot warning. It's just that it could have been better if they placed a fog lamp, the one that you can find in an Innova. So it will make the car more luxurious, in my opinion. In this top spec of Corolla Cross, there is an upgrade and many of you will like it and you might think like, where did my money go? And you can tell easily that this is where your money went. It's a Toyota original power tailgate system. Now, what you can find also in your Corolla Cross GR are the floor mats in GR. This, also here, and here. The cargo size is exactly the same as the normal Corolla Cross hybrid. We are here now and not many of you will notice it, but it has a tonneau. I, I know you've seen that tonneau, but it doesn't have a handle. So meaning you need to pinch it and bring it this way. Which for me is a little bit weird, <laughs> in my opinion. So it's not so difficult, but it is what it is. Then we do have a donut type, space saver type of wheel that is in 17 inch. So 17 inch with tools and jack here compartments and light a another weird fact is that this top spec model comes with halogen lights everywhere halogen lights in the cabin although it does look nice with this black interior i would have appreciated if they changed it to leds and the speed is really slow the speed of the tailgate is quite slow. And you see that there is no blue badge anymore. It's just a black glass Toyota emblem. Not everyone will notice it, but when you look at this tambucho, tambucho, only until this area is painted in matte black, which uh, kind of matches this black cladding right here. So I think they did a really good job because if the tambucho would have been a normal silver color, then it would make the car look a bit cheaper. But this one, and they saved paint right until there only. 
So that's interesting. And I was looking for the kick sensor right here, but I couldn't find it. But earlier it worked, but it didn't work on me. So that's one hassle. And let us not forget the GR Sport badge right under the hybrid. Getting in and out of your Corolla Cross, no matter what your age is, it's easy. Inside the Corolla Cross GRS, you do find some GR features, especially here on the headrest. This white accent lane, also available at the back, and this GR push start button. But aside from that, everything is the same with the hybrid Corolla Cross that costs 1,665,000 pesos. So, is it worth your money to buy this? At least we have GR badges everywhere. But I think this one is a better choice than to buy, uh, let's say, a GR Rush. Because at least this one comes with more GR aesthetics inside and out. Plus, you do get the GR specific MacPherson struts. Right? So at least that's worth it. So, if you want to know more about this hybrid model, please do contact the person in the description section below. And Honestly, this is the best time you can transition to an hybrid or an EV just so that you have a head start. You know, you have a head start and open-minded ka ba? So that will fit your profile. I like everything. Toyota Safety Sense, nice leather steering wheel. I like this really petite, cute uh, gear lever shifter with blue accents because this is a hybrid model after all. You know, when you buy a Toyota here in the Philippines, it is uh, very reliable. But this one is a bit rare, so that is also a plus. This new, this is the new one. This is the new uh, auto dimming room mirror that I like. It almost looks frameless and it really works perfectly. But as I've said earlier, the cabin lights are all in halogen. Apple CarPlay, Android Auto comes with reverse camera but uh, does have front sensor and rear sensor but not the 360 camera so when you put the car to reverse uh-huh see sensors all around see visually and audibly different drive modes there when you press the drive mode power echo and normal but when you press the EV mode you cannot right now because the battery is low. It has to be like at least four bars. So I was using it a bit, so that's it. As you can see here, according to the owner, total average is 12.6 kilometers per liter. Uh, let's go to the back. The second row of the Corolla Cross Hybrid GRS. Here you don't find the hot stamps of GR like you don't see any trace of GR except for the floor mat that I've shown you earlier. Two USB ports in type A, air vents, pouch, cup holder with armrest, wait, armrest with cup holder. They do fold 60-40 but they don't fold completely flat. Now what I like also here is that we have airbags. Airbags here, airbags there, airbag there. So do we have airbags here? In case you didn't know, there is a Corolla Cross silhouette right here as well. So it feels like a big car. It doesn't feel like you're riding a Corolla Altis. If you want to uh, have the Toyota badge with a hybrid system and also the Gazoo Racing feature, wait no further, but you may try to purchase this one. All right, so where does it go? Here? What the heck? That was difficult. Under the hood of the Corolla Cross Hybrid GRS, it is quite refreshing to see because finally we are seeing the blue hybrid badge of Toyota. 
Now what lies here is an um, electric motor and a uh, combustion engine. That is why it is a hybrid system. It pumps up about 120 horsepower and 141 newton meters of torque mated to a CVT. Now, what we want here, what we're trying to achieve here is good design, fuel consumption, and also reliability. And Toyota just hit the right spot when they came up with hybrid system to a Corolla Cross, and they even put a GR feature. So people just go crazy when they see the GR badge because some, not everyone can afford Supra or not everyone can afford a GR Yaris. So this is a good, good option. Now this one is just uh, one thing, like I wish this one came with gas ruts, of course, but if that happens, it will be a lot more expensive. So this area is really, really spacious. Like you can even use a portion of it as a frunk if you don't mind your items getting burned. By the way, the housing has changed. Now it is somewhat a smoke type of housing and it just looks great. Well, we do see some halogen here and we do have this LED uh, fog lamp. This is a fog lamp because this one is like color red. It kind of looks cool. This is how your GRS would sound like with the lights on. Looks nice with all this LED. There is one halogen at the back though, but it's not a big problem as you can see here. Because you don't really give too much attention to the signal light, but just take a look at this 3D hologram type of tailgate or tail lamp system. That, uh, well, we can find in maybe in Lexus. Well, Toyota is a Lexus, so <laughs> that is nice. So. Thank you everyone for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I hope to perhaps have this car for a longer period. So Toyota Philippines, if you're watching, please do add me in your media list again. Thank you very much. And with that, I'll see you in the next video. May your dreams come true. Sama